Welcome back. And in this lecture, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about Studio Mux. Uh, Studio Mux allows iOS based apps to stream the audio that they generate over the lightning to USB cable supplied with most iPhones or iPads. This means that synchronization and audio can be streamed together using higher quality connections for digital audio rather than using the 3.5 millimeter mini jack headphone socket, which is simply not an ideal standard for audio. So how does it work? What we'll do is we we'll just open up Studio Mux here. And this is load the last session, no thank you. What we'll see is we'll see this interface in front of us where there's various bits and pieces. Quickly, I suppose you can pick up across the front here. We've got loads of audio channels. And upon these things, as you can see written there, we can drop instruments and effects. So that's exactly what we'll do. We'll hit the plus button. I'm gonna go into my instruments. IAA instruments and in here we can find some of the audio generating apps that I have installed. I'm simply going to pick up Launchpad, bring it over and drop it on a track which is going to load. You can see you get a notification of a link there because I've got Link Ableton Link enabled on the Launchpad. Now you can see Launchpad is launched and in the top, well not the top but the right hand side, we can see the Studio Mux logo here. This tells me that Studio Mux is working. So that if I select this line and kick off the audio here we can see it's playing audio but we can't hear anything so we'll go back to studio mux and in studio mux what we'll see is we'll see audio level coming in on the channel where we have launch pad so what do we do next basically right now studio mux is taking the input from launch pad and routing it through studio mux it will then route it through the lightning cable into the usb slot into your pc so in order to get it in, we have to set up the Studio Mux server, which will find Studio Mux running on your iOS app. So I have it over here on the dock. We hit Studio Mux. It launches a little icon in the top. Click on that. No MIDI connections, no audio connections. Give it a second. Oh, we've got a MIDI connection. We've got an audio connection. So next stop, how do we hear it? We're going to bring it in into Ableton. Let's just launch up live here. And what we're going to do is if I go into live preferences, we've got audio input device here and it's set for built-in microphone and the audio output is set for the built-in output. Normal standard setup for using the sound card on your Mac. What we can do is we can now select the iPad as a sound card. It's got 18 in and two outs, which you can go through in the input configuration. You can see I've got them all turned on, but straight away we can see an input coming in on one and two. So we'll just select OK, we'll close out of that. Now we go to our monitor section, we can see it's turned off. We're just gonna select one and two stereo. I'm gonna click in, and then all of a sudden we should be able to hear our audio. And that's how Studio Mox works. Basically it takes it allows us to take whatever is being played in our app of choice and stream it over the lightning cable, which you'll also see if I turn on link in Ableton, We should get some links in here as well. Connected to one app. Cool. That's it for Studio Mox. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Streams the audio from iOS applications onto your laptop so you can use them as an input within Ableton alongside everything else. For example, Tractor, or if you've got tracks playing in Ableton itself, you now have something you can play with and stream in, keeping the tempo, keeping it all in real time. Sweet stuff. See you in the next lecture.